Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm going to make a quick journal card for you today. I've got a few stamps from Beeline Designs. Check out the description box below for links to the products that I'm using. I've got an artist trading card size piece of white cardstock, and I've got the large anchor, and I've got Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxide Ink because I like the shade of blue. You can use any blue stamp pad or any color that you want, really. I'm going to take that and ink it up and put it somewhat in the center of this card. Now when I'm done stamping, I will clean my stamp, but I'm going to set it aside for a moment. I'm going to grab a scrap of paper and put that underneath because I don't want to get ink all over my desk. And I've got the depth, I believe it is, it's measuring the water depth. I'm going to ink this up using the same Distress Oxide. And we're going to stamp this across the bottom. I'm going to rotate it across the top and then we'll do the sides. Depends on if you like all the numbers to be right side up or not. I'm going to go ahead and do it right side up this time. So that went right around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and use some Distress Ink Walnut Stain in a blending tool and go around the edges. I don't always do dark cardstock with Distress Inks, but it does make a little bit of a difference if you do, because you kind of see a little bit of a darker edge on there. I'm going to layer these together, so I'm going to put that right in the middle. This is going to be a really simple card. I like my cards and tags to be relatively flat when I put them into a junk journal. But if you like the extra layers, add them. They add dimension and color and texture. I'll we'll go ahead and put that right here at the top. I've got near the C, we forget to count the days. I'm going to ink that up with black archival, jet black archival ink. And we're going to put that right here at the bottom. And then I've got from the Curly Swirly stamp set. I'm going to grab my scrap and I'm going to stamp right on the edges. Kind of just adds a little decorative touch to the edges. And that is a quick journal card that you can rubber stamp and use various layers of paper. Have fun with that. Use different colors. Add other texture to it if you like. But if you want something quick and simple, there you go. Y'all, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come hang out with me. We have a lot of fun. If you like what I did today, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment if you have any questions or comments that you want to share or ask. And check the description box below for a link to the products that I use. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.